What's up guys and welcome to another little big planet 2 video and today I have a f our final piece of DLC to show off for this week Yes, a lot of DLC has come out But this is the final piece and probably my most favorite out of everything the lemmings back and we have two pieces of lemmings the Lemming costume and then of course the mischievous lemming and I'll explain a bit these are to celebrate the Le lemmings PS Vita that has just came out on the PlayStation Vita and it's pretty cool. I haven't played the game myself, but I've seen a bit of a playthrough of it, and it looks really cool. Lemmings, of course, is that classic game where you lead these little lemon characters to safety. And I really like it. This is a cool pack that you can get on the PSN store for $2.99 USD. And it is, of course, cross buy, so if you buy it for Little Big Planet 2, you'll get it for Little Big Planet Carding and Little Big Planet Vita. So this is the main lemming, lemming costume. And you can get some. Ooh, I didn't want to do that. You can get some pretty cool uh, little doodads for it as well. Let's see if I can't find them. I think they are on the arm section, but we can equip little lemming things like maybe an umbrella. <laughs> and we can umbrella all around. And then same thing with some of the other signature lemming things like the lemming pickaxe and the lemming shovel. I'll hold the pickaxe. I do believe there might be some type of backpack. Yep, here it is. Lemming backpack. Now I'm ready to start backpacking. I'm just a good old lemming. Now they also have the mischievous lemming, which is right here. This is a new addition to the lemmings franchise, from my knowledge. This is in the lemmings PS Vita. Is this mischievous lemming? I'm so evil. No, no, I don't want this one. I'm so evil. Blah -ha! <laughs> okay, we're going to go and hop into a level though to show these guys in action. So let's hop in. Okay, this is a very cool level. It's called Lemming Bots by TSKM7. Let's hop in. Now, as we hop into this level, I do have a confession to make. I am horrible at Lemmings games. There's something about action mixed with puzzling that I'm just not good at. But this is very cool, very cute. Um, basically, yeah, I guide the Lemmings just as you would expect. Instead, they're little sack bots instead instead of Lemmings, which is, in my opinion, hilariously awesome and cute and stuff. But we can hold down this button and they'll start jumping on the jump pad and stuff like that. Let's see. Let's. We want them to go up here, so I'll have a little uh, icon there. And these guys have to hop up. Oh, I gotta press this button. There we go. Come on up, you guys. What is this one doing? Come on. This one doesn't seem to want to go. Okay, then maybe we'll have one back here as a backup. It's really cool though, I really like this design, the style, because this is unique, of course, they've had to do a lot of out-of-the-box thinking for this to really work. Oop, I, they still need to go up here. Here we go. Another one's stuck. Huh, it's weird. Oh well. Of course it's not perfect, it's user-made level. You can have them mine through here. But of course this is really cool, it's sort of backwards seeing how I'm the lemming. I'm telling these people where to go, and in, in, in reality it should be the other way around. And, and I like it, it's cool though. The, unfortunately this is the last piece of DLC to be released. Okay, make them stop, they cannot fall from this height. Try to use the anti-gravity just before they begin to fall, same as before. Okay, simple enough. So I want them to go over here, but I want to use anti-gravity. What will that do? Whoa, they just float down. That's very, very cool. I never got to this point. Just wanted to check it out a bit. <laughs> but this is the last piece of DLC that has released. And I know that the US or the North America has been very behind on DLC. I want to switch to the mischievous lemming now. Um, we got the Joe Danger costume really late. We got the Lemmings costume really late. We got a lot of stuff pretty darn late. And, um... It's interesting to see that we finally get it, we all get it in one week. So it's been like a really jam-packed week when it comes to Little Big Planet content. Ooh, and I get a little sticker. And, um, so now we're sort of out of DLC. There's no information that there's new DLC coming up. There's just hope that there is. But maybe it's a calm before the storm. Maybe that now, since we can, uh, finally relax a bit. How do I turn my cursor back on? Yeah, here they come. Do that. And then press this. There we go. Hopefully, maybe we'll get some huge announcements coming up soon. I mean, it's about to become summer, so you think it's that time of year, right? So, you know, summer's usually when there's some big releases because everybody's on summer break. So, hopefully, we get some information on some huge Little Big Planet news soon. I think that'd be really awesome and really exciting. 
Looks like we just gotta keep mining. I really like this, though. This is really creative. It uses Little Big Planet in a very interesting way in its mechanics. I've never seen anything really like this, and these guys need to come on down here. Come on, my Zackbots! Come with me! <laughs> this there have definitely been some really interesting and original packs as of late. I feel like this and the Soccer Asset Pack were really cool. If we think about it, there isn't something holiday or event related really coming up that they can really do. I was surprised there wasn't any type of Watch Dogs pack, but at the same time, it's sort of like that isn't really... I mean, they have Assassin's Creed packs, so that's why I was really expecting it. I don't really see anything that could be a Little Big Planet pack in the near future. Maybe, the, maybe if they had like a 4th of July pack, that would be cool. I don't see them having some type of summer pack though. So I feel like we might go on a little bit of a drought in a uh, Little Big Planet stuff. Maybe. I'm not sure though. What do you guys think? Do you guys think we're going to see uh, more DLC soon? Or do you think we're going to start running out and we're going to start seeing more news on Little Big Planet Hub or something like that? I'm always interested in to see what you guys have to say because some of you guys are really some Little Big Planet experts. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to do that. <laughs> Oh god, I'm like stuck. Oh well, I think I'm just about done the level now. It was, that was a very cool look. Or of course, earlier you saw what the name of the level is. I highly suggest you check that one out because it's a very well designed level. But this has been the Lemmings Pack. Very cool. I love the little things you can hold with your hands. Let's go back to those. I want to hold, uh, where was it? The umbrella. Because I'm singing in the rain. <laughs> Sort of weird how it holds it. He can just be like, ah, I'm gonna hit you with my umbrella. Ah. <laughs> but this has been the Lemmings Pack, the last of the DLC that we'll be seeing this week. But maybe there'll be more Little Big Planet content soon. Oh, <laughs> you look so evil. You don't. You never know. I do have some things up my sleeve, ready to come out whenever they can. So don't get sad, Little Big Planet fans. There's gonna be a lot of more awesome Little Big Planet content coming. Thank you guys ever so much for watching, though. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Uh, if you want to go and purchase this DLC, of course, it's in the link in the description. And if you enjoyed this, please give this a comment, maybe telling me your thoughts, or maybe just your thoughts on the video or on the DLC. Uh, the comment section is really awesome because I'm always reading comments and there's always people in there chatting, so maybe you should be the first or the second or the third, just make sure to go and chat. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.